Hey guys, welcome to the 195th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our uh, writer class and finish it up. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do right here is basically just create a method to write a single character into the file. So we're just going to go ahead and say public void, and we're going to want to name this method write character. So just go ahead and say write character. And then we're just going to have the user pass through the character that they want written into the file. So it's going to say character, and I'm just going to call this to write. Alright, and then we can just go ahead and use the write method inside of the binary writer class to write this character into the file. So we can just say bw for our binary writer, and say write. And then just pass through that character that the user passes through this method. Alright. So there's really nothing special to it there. You don't have to reverse it or anything like that. All right, so let me just subtract that there. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and create a method to write a character array into the file. So we're gonna say public void um, write characters, and then we're just gonna have the user pass through a character array of characters that they want written into the file. And just like all the other methods, we're gonna call this uh, variable to write. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and use the write method, just like before, to write our character array into the file. So we can say bw.write and then just pass our character array right on through. So to write. And the reason that we don't have to reverse it, even it doesn't matter what um, byte order it is, is because characters are never stored backwards. So you're never going to see like a string written or a characters written where the user wants to store like ABC and it's written like CBA. It's just never going to be written like that. So there's no reason to reverse it um, if the byte order is little endian or big endian or anything like that. So we can just go ahead and write it out straight like this and it'll just write out like um, ABC if the user passes through uh, ABC right there. Alright, so the next thing that we have to do is create a method to just go ahead and close our binary writer so that the user can use the file that they're writing in um, somewhere else. So we're just going to say public uh, void close and then they, we don't need any information from the user so just empty parameters right there and then we're just going to go ahead and say dw.close and then that'll just close the binary writer so the user can use um, the file that they're writing in somewhere else. Okay, and inside of our uh, reader class we had a method that was called change byte order and this change byte order method basically allowed the user to change the byte order to something different. So if the byte order was like little endian and the user wanted to change it to big endian, they could just pass big endian right through here and it would change the byte order to big endian. But we're going to want to need this inside of the writer class as well. And since this doesn't have anything to do with a reader or a writer, we can just have this in our base IO class so we don't have to write it twice. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this right there and then just go ahead and paste it into our base IO class. Now, since um, both our reader and writer class are inheriting from this base IO class, um, that uh, what is it? change byte order method will be inside of both of these uh, classes, so we don't have to write it twice. And that just makes everything 100 times easier. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be making sure that our classes work properly and they write everything great. Alright, so see you guys.